Welcome back to the Cowboy and Timberline uh, Junction Railroad. This is uh, update number 11, I believe. I uh, just wanted to show you some of the uh, some of the track that I did get down uh, since the last video. Uh, I am waiting on a 45 degree crossing that I tried to build myself, but I don't have a jig for that and it makes for a very small guardrail on the inside of that crossing. So uh, I've got a guy that's making that for me and uh, should be here soon. So it's going to go right in here uh, next to the uh, turntable. Uh, the turntable's uh, looking pretty good. I haven't finished it yet, but uh, <clears throat> But it's gonna it's gonna work out really well, I believe. Anyway, this is a just a little, just a rough layout of what I'm gonna do. Uh, the the yard will go off in this direction. Of course, the roundhouse will be back over here. Uh, I do have this uh, trackage laid right in here, and uh, these are two number four turnouts. Uh, I was a little concerned about the uh, Blackstone engines going through. Um, a number four turnout uh, because they say they will operate on 18 inch radius well uh, I know for a fact that it'll operate on a 16 inch radius and it will negotiate these number fours just fine uh, so I don't have a problem there uh, as long as they're as long as they're in good mechanical working order they'll they'll work just fine uh, I got this three-way switch put in here built and put in here this is going to go off to, uh, I believe we're going to have a lumber yard right back here in this corner. <clears throat> and then uh, right here is my uh, top side track start, start right here. Uh, this is the start of the block for the, uh, the top part of the layout, which will all be up on the shelf. Uh, and as you see, I've, I've got some of it run around here. A little siding coming up the hill here. And this is a 16 inch diameter uh, curve and the uh, Blackstone engine will make that curve just fine. Um, <clears throat> this is as far as I've gotten uh, coming around but I'm, it's getting ready to come around and there'll be a right in here will be a trestle coming all the way back around here and then back into the into the mountain this way. Uh, then coming out of the mountain when it when it climbs back up through the mountain and it comes back up it'll come on right about this level uh, right around the corner here from from here over is all going to be uh, mountainous the only backdrop will be above that shelf uh, there might be a little bit of black backdrop right here between this portal and there'll be portals right in here but um, there won't be a big backdrop right here it'll be up on the top part uh, this will all be built up uh, rock uh, up to the shelf here where the shelf will be right about here and then above that will be backdrop. Uh, then from there all the way across this all the way over to this backdrop will be a trestle coming across there as it climbs <clears throat> and uh, you can see I started the uh, rock work here uh, the other couple videos I did before this one kind of showing how this is going and it, it's working really well so uh, I think that's the way I'm going to do that. So without the backdrop being in there this is all going to be one scene all the way up. The uh, backdrop will then start right here for the lower section as the shelf will come around up above this so you can see kind of how that's going to look right there. Uh, as you can also see, I've changed uh, and taken down what I had up here. Uh, decided to go a different way uh, to mount those uh, shelves up. So this will be one of the uh, towns up here above the yard. This is uh, the power station right here. Uh, right on this side is a uh, DCS 210 from Digitrax. And then I have the DB210 on this side to do the upper level. This one's doing all the lower level. This one will be all the upper level. And then I'm using the PS2012E to power it. Uh, last time I showed you, I think I had this small box built. 
but I didn't have the cart that I was going to put it on. And so I got that built uh, and have it on where I can roll it around. Where I can move that in and out so now it's not permanently attached. Uh, what I did back here on the back, is I just brought them to a couple of terminal strips and then those are run with a braided wire up to the terminal strips. One's right there for the lower section. The other one will be inside the mountain in this location and that's going that will take all of the upper level tracks um, and that's next to the two uh, reversing AR1 reversing uh, sections and that way I can move this this uh, back and forth in and out wherever I need it uh, instead of having a permanent mount underneath the table Ran into one little problem uh, that I had had to make um, an adjustment for, uh, which is I know it's not too unusual, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I did that. Uh, the turnout motor for this uh, the tortoise that I'm going to use for this particular turnout happened to be right over one of the L girders in the bench work, so I had to move it over to have room and. Uh, so I did that. You can see I moved it out close to the edge. So it comes up right here. And then I took the wire and bent it and ran it through a copper, little copper tube over to the uh, throw bar on the turnout, on the points. And it works really well that way. Uh, by putting it in the copper tube, the copper tube restricts any bend that that, uh, that wire wants to make right there. Um, and then by bringing the cork on out over that, then I was able to just go right over the top of that. Uh, right here, I'll put a little, some kind of little uh, device, maybe a trackside device of some sort, or or maybe just a, a thin piece of plywood or something with the ground cover the same on it, so that it can be taken off and gotten in where I can get into that right there. Um, but it it works real well the way it is right now, so. Uh, uh, anyway, I just want to show you that, how I, how I did that, and uh, uh, in case you have that similar problem. Okay, anyway, it's a short, uh, it was a short video, but uh, I wanted to get one out for you guys to see where I'm at right now. Uh, it's moving along. It doesn't seem like it sometimes, uh, but you can see all the mess I've got back here on this side that's all pretty much done on the bottom over here on the, all the track works all done except for this little it's going to be a a cattle inter, interchange for uh, stock um, but um, anyway I just wanted to give you an update and let you see the big changes I'm making because I've got this tunnel in now um, and I'll be in the process of getting that covered up uh, I know I was going to put the fascia on there. I think I said that last time. Um, but then I got thinking, now I still got to get under there and crawl back and forth. And I didn't want to have the fascia in the way. Uh, so that'll be put on more as I get almost done with all of the track work. Anyway, uh, glad you could drop by. And we'll talk to you later.